live in large and take a charge, big boy. Listen up, it's Danny and Tay, and we are heard. Hey guys, welcome back to Heard the Podcast. This is Danny and Taylor, and this is episode <laughs> sixty-four. Three? Three? Yes. Episode 63 of Heard the Podcast. You can find us at Heard the Podcast, H-E-R-D, the podcast, on Instagram, Twitter. Type us in H-E-R apostrophe D in your Google, and you will find that we are on SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Google Play, Spotify, all those, um, you know, podcast platforms, Apple, all those things. Anywho, all right, well, we're here again. Thank you guys for tuning in. Grandmother, she always... (laughs) Thank you guys for tuning in. She does that. All the time. I appreciate the ones that are, you know, um, um, not of the U.S. We have some, we have some European fans and African fans. So I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't mind the thunderstorming in the background. I'm sorry about that. Well, it's just that's just what it is. If you hear it, you hear it. It's Anywho, life. It's 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 raining in in Maryland slash D.C. So yeah. Anywho. Oh, shit. All right. Shall we? <clears throat> I I'm I'm being honest right now. I my my list is short. And it's a, it's a couple. It's a couple of things on this list that I don't plan on um, really talking too much about, just for my own mental health purposes. Which is fine. I, I understand that. <laughs> Trust me. Yes, but my list isn't too long either. All right. So. Well, let's get into those shows. Okay. Remember. Okay. Did you watch the show? I may destroy you. I didn't even watch it yet. I tried, but I, I could not get into it. Really? Like, it's bad. Is it bad? I got ten minutes in. And I was not feeling it. It's, I don't under. I just. Uh, Maybe I need to watch the trailer. I don't know what the fuck it's about. I just watched it because it's Michaela. Wait, don't tell me. I'll t- don't tell me. I'm going to go watch it. We're going to talk about it together. Okay, okay. So I'll skip so that. So don't tell me. I'll, I'll just but wait, what don't you like about it? Just, you know how something that just doesn't really catch your eye. You just wasn't, fe- I just wasn't it feeling it. Was it boring or was it? It was a little bit boring to me. Really? But like I said, I got 10 minutes in. and I, But I just, I don't know where it's going. It's just... So you know how things just so the, so slow. the so the build up was too slow for you. Yeah, for, basically, and when th- for me, and it can still be good. And I said I was gonna try again. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna but try. But when things start together. off slow to me, I just get turned off, and I went to start watching The Office. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna watch so. it. We can talk about it together. Okay. Because I like I like Michaela. Yeah, and that's how I want to like you, but it's like you know, like that Zoe Kravitz show, like on um, Girl. I actually well, I actually gave it a chance and watched it. Watched I tried it, it twice. And yeah. no, I watched a few episodes of it. And the thing is, I told you, I think I said on this up on this um, on the podcast, like you did. it was there was a couple of little problematic things that I didn't really care for, and I was just surprised at it because I'm just like Zoe Kravitz seems like she's like more progressive than this. I didn't like how the big black girl was like the aggressive person, yeah. and like she wasn't the one that was. Uh, I guess she wasn't the one that was attract, like, quote unquote, attracted or, or lusted after, quote unquote. And like you know, Zoe, you know, she can't control that she's light skinned but it just felt like I don't know. It just, it just, it just the placement of things were just kind of it yeah. was a bit uh, for me. You and know? they probably expected more from her. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, so the build up for this was just slow. And I said I would try again because I only tried once, but it was just like, listen, I just I was not into it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, that was only ten minutes in. I didn't even. Get close to finish the episode. Mm-hmm. So that's how I try again. So next week, we'll see if I got any further. Okay, so I watched this. Have you heard of this movie called Crawl? Uh-uh. What's it about? Is it came out movie? last year. It's a it's a thriller. It is? Is it on Netflix? Um, It's on Netflix or Hulu. It's on Hulu. It's on Hulu, bad. Yeah, okay, I'm going to watch it because I need to... I, literally, I'm like screaming... Squ- uh, screaming. I'm like literally itching to find something new to watch. Yeah, it's on Hulu. So and Hulu, I love watching movies on there because they don't give me no ads for mm-hmm. movies. But um, it's basically it's like Hulu anim- do be giving ads on the movies, you know? Oh, don't. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's it's basically like Jaws or Anaconda vibes. Really? It's uh, what's the uh, animal? Gators. Ooh, some Anaconda shit. It was like basically um, it's set based in Florida. It's set in Florida. Of course it is. Oh, they have. I still know what you did last summer on Hulu as well. Hmm. Oh, they got the Fosters on Hulu now. Oh shit! I might rewatch that. I missed that show so. They had much. it on. They had it on Netflix for a long time though. Yeah, they did. So is it on both? Ooh, Pet Cemetery is on um Hulu. I need to watch I that actually. That. Is it good? It was alright. This is the remake, right? Because it was an original. Or, or yeah, 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 yeah. I need to watch that. Okay, because the thing is, what well, honestly, with Hulu, it's hit and miss. With it. the thing is, Hulu over the years has gotten better because it was only Agreed. good for it was only good for the shows they had on there. And the I movies, it, 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 sometimes I found like movies. sometimes I found like nice little old movies or little indie films. Like I, it was this movie with Jordan. With, I'm sorry, uh, Joseph Gordon Levitt 
and um, he it was a movie I can't remember what the movie was called but it was when he was younger and um, he was like molested as a child and he was very Dang. sexual he was very sexually fluent and yeah I forgot what was what the, it called? I forgot. You're gonna have to just Google his name and see what movies he played in. I'm gonna find it. Oh my. But yeah, like he, yeah, yeah. So that's what I found like a long time ago on Hulu. That's that was when I was like searching for, trying to find like good movies and stuff. It was like that was that was when it was really hard to find good movies on Hulu. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna watch. Back. I'm gonna watch Crawl because I feel like this came out in theaters. It no? came out yeah, like last year. I want to say. I feel yeah. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch I, it. When I'm I add saw it, to my it list. I was like, this is the third movie I wanted to see, but I never got. I think I forgot about it. Yeah, I'm gonna add it to my list. I'm gonna add it to my list. And I'm going to add Pet Cemetery to my list, too, That's even though I didn't watch the cool. original. It was yeah. interesting. You know how, um, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen better from, even though it was original. I never saw the original. What, Pet Cemetery? Yeah, I never watched the original. Mm. But it was all right. It was a little, it was just weird. Hmm, I wonder but if the know, is on Netflix anymore. Maybe it's not on Netflix no more. I noticed that, because, you know, um, I'd be on Prime, too. They have a lot of the same stuff Hulu had, like, They'll have like the same shows. Good, I'm glad I ain't pay for that shit. Oh wow, the Fosters isn't the Fosters isn't isn't on uh, Netflix no more. Oh my god, I walk to remember is on Netflix, bitch. I'm like the. I had that DVD or I had it. I walk to remember. Oh, dear John is on here too. Oh my god. Yeah. You know what? The dude from the the guy the the new Jesus, um, from the Fosters, he plays in a lot of Netflix stuff. Yeah. Yeah. SPF 18. I missed the old Jesus though. He was my favorite. He was fine too. I don't know what happened with that one. But, ooh, should I watch Dear John as well? Do Dear I John care about Dear John? I love Dear John. Ooh, they got one day Dear on John here. Dear John make got... me cry, girl. Because what happened? Somebody died, right? Or not? Nah? I'm going to watch it again. Just Somebody because Shannon Tatum him fine as hell. Somebody did die. Yeah. I'm not going to say who. Amanda, to Amanda Seyfried. I haven't watched I'm just it watching her. Time. I was just watching Jennifer's Body. Because I bought, I bought a Jennifer Body shirt. Jennifer's Body shirt. And then mm. I want to watch uh, the movie. It says burning on one side. It's like half black, half white. One side says burning, the other side is a picture of Jennifer. It's a movie. Oh, it was a show called Cursed on Netflix yeah, with the new. same with the same girl that played Hannah on Thirteen Reasons. Yeah, Fine. that was next on my list. Do I want to? Oh, never mind. I don't think I even want to watch this. It's too. It's too much. It's too sci fi for me. I'm watching I'm it. Too fantasy for me. And Listen, my girl, I, I, I appreciate a good sci fi fantasy, but I don't think I'm gonna like this. It's on my list, baby. Cursed. I love the poster though. Did you watch P Valley? I haven't seen that yet. Seen it yet? Okay, no. Um, I mean, do you like it so far? Yeah, I love, like, I love it. I love the show. Uncle Clifford is my baby. I love me some Uncle Clifford. Mercedes, my girl too. That little gay dude is, or not? I don't know what he is. The little rapper dude, his name like Little Myrtle or something. He's trying to get Uncle Uncle Clifford to play the music in the strip club. Play his music in the strip club, but he ain't played it. But he keep coming on to him like he wanted. So whatever he is, Uncle mm-hmm. Clifford seem like he liking it though. He try, you know how he's trying to play hard to get? That's what he doing. Because he's way younger than Uncle Clifford. He like 25, probably. Uncle Clifford like 30s, 40s. Probably 40. I'm going to try to watch it. Then um, Fatal Affair. <laughs> if y'all can see that, yeah. Taylor. Y'all can see her Taylor. face right now. Taylor. If y'all remember, was it, you, was it you that said to me that Nia Long did an interview or whatever, and she said that she thinks that Fatal Affair would be a cult classic? She was said she just... hopes that it would be. Okay, I saw I saw it on Twitter. It was like a nine minute interview, and she said that she hopes that this movie would be a cult classic. Okay, so before I even and go I'm like, into this, this is the thirteenth movie. <laughs> that's this, this is the, this is literally this is like the thirteenth, fifteenth, fiftieth time that this this same movie has been made. So I don't know how this would be a classic. But anyway, um, I was like, okay, Taylor, I don't know where to start. Like, I, I don't know where to start. Better from Nia and um, and Omar Epps. And Omar Epps. Taylor, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start, bro. This <laughs> it was so. It was so bad. That movie was horrible. And the thing is, but the, this is the thing, right? I when I saw the preview of it, I knew that this uh, this concept was not original, but I was yeah. still excited to see it because I love seeing a, a, a thriller with black was it like a, exactly. with a majority black cast. And because the thing is, the reason I get excited for that is because oh Friday, the reason that I get excited to see an all black cast in a scary movie or a thriller is because I feel like it's something new. And I want to see. Ooh, I want to see how black people how they would how they would portray black people to act in this these certain right. situations. Taylor, first of all, I think she was really dumb in that movie too. Like Taylor, I think that movie. First of all, that movie was 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 
was horrible to me. It was horrible. And it was not very cohesive. It was it, it didn't have character development for me. No. And I felt it was just very choppy. It, I felt like I was watching a mood board. I felt like I was watching a <laughs> mood board of crazy stalker nigga. <laughs> The title was Crazy Stalker Nigger Mood Board. <laughs> like, that's what, I, that's what I felt like I was watching. I felt like I laughed more than movie me. Taylor, it was so I couldn't, bad. Taylor, I, had I to couldn't laugh. even, Taylor, I was on like the 13th, 14th minute when I was like, okay, look, listen, I want to close my laptop. So did you, you finish it? No, I, fi- I had to. Oh, okay. I need to, I need to, I like, let me just watch this whole shit. Let me see how this is. Because this is the thing. I, when it comes to, okay, so nothing is new under the sun. So I'm not really, I'm not, I don't get really mad when, when the same movie gets, uh, gets remade over and over again. Like yeah. it's been done with, even with white people, they remade Friends of Benefits like, tw- it was like in that same year, they, they, in that same year, Friends of Benefits and No Strings no Attached attack. came out that same year. It was literally the same fucking it's the movie. same exact movie. Um, movie. freaking, it, it, you know, it's, it's made so many times, slasher movies, you know, it's made. It's, it's any, all been done. It's always, it's always, it's always been done. And then you all, you almost always know how it's going to to end okay wow the 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 hero is gonna save the day or the it's gonna be a, a positive outcome the the crazy stalker dude's gonna die at the end we all know that. you know what i'm saying but i've yeah. never get, gotten mad at that because nothing's new under the sun i just wanted to be a good story you know what i mean yeah. i felt like fatal affair was 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 very choppy like i said mood board and I feel like there was no character development. Like I feel like, okay, wow, random psycho guy. Once, once he wants to marry you all of a sudden, or whatever the fuck he, he. And the thing is, like, it's called fatal affair, but they never really had sex. They never had sex. No, they just made out in the bathroom for like five. He didn't minutes. even take the tip in. Like it was never. He wasn't even sex. So I was in an affair. Like you made out one little time. For yeah, five it's seconds. not. Like, what is it? You she want? just happens to be married, but. It's, it's and not the thing affair. is, okay, so he. I guess it was a, a a person that she went to college with that she barely even noticed. But this is the thing. Like there was no backstory. Like at least give me a flashback of him in college. You know what I mean? Like it's, I was just, going it's, to say that. it's so random. It's so fucking he just random. popped up and they're like, "Well, how do you know each other? We didn't even know how the fuck they knew each other yet. There was like you said, there was no flashback. She's like, "How do you know each other?" Oh, we went to college. All right, they ain't show nothing back from then. And then, you know what scene was so funny to me? What? This is so random. But um, at the end, when he was like playing the record, uh, you know what I'm talking about with this song? Uh, the Forgive Me Not, so whatever uh-huh. the song is. Um, and then he was like, come on, dance with me. And then he just started getting it. I was just like, what the fuck? This nigga's really crazy. I just thought that was funny when he was dancing. But um, I like really laughed and had to rewind it. It's just. But, um. <laughs> I, I, it was very I'm disappointed. Board. It was very moving. I feel board. let down. Literally, it was okay. Crazy stalker guy. Okay, boom. The dumb friend that falls for that that this crazy stalker guy uh, uh, um, manipulates and and what's it, what's it called when you he he seduces her and great crazy friend the the, your friend the girl, tried to tell the girl you. tried to tell the friend that he's he's crazy. And she oh my god, mad. you're just you're just jealous. Oh my god, it's just the same thing. It's just like what the what the fuck is like. <laughs> and then his, it's he, like it was insulting my intelligence. She tried to look at his phone while he quote unquote went to the bathroom or something. And then Taylor, he didn't even kill her. He just knocked her out. What the fuck? And then Taylor, Taylor, he like killed a random homeless man. And then they thought that it was his remains. How? <laughs> How? So you, so you, know. but the thing is, like, you just randomly drove up to a re- random ho- black homeless man and just killed him. Like burned him, whatever you did. I don't know what the fuck you set him on fire. Whatever you fucking did. I don't know. I don't understand. And then you did that, and but then for you to still come back and 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 what? They thought that was his remains. And uh, <sighs> who produced this movie? Look it up. Look it up right movie? now. Look it up right now. Look it up right I'll the just... fuck now. Do it now. I need to write a letter. Like, like, I, like I said, like I said, like a girl on out, girl. The hashtag on Twitter, people was dragging that whole movie up through and through. It's mean. Through, it's horrible. Girl, it was a clip. It was a. It was a meme. Um, someone, someone got a screen record of her holding the damn phone upside down. Yeah. I saw that. I'm like, what the? So did she? So I'm thinking. So I'm thinking. Like, did you like? Okay, first of all, how many days did they film this movie? One, two. Did I felt like uh, if you you just are you that tired or something? For, are you that sleepy from filming, or did you just walk on this glide on set one day? Like, okay, cool. Shoot this one scene. I feel real like quick. this movie was so rushed or something that they just didn't even get everything. You know what's that, fucked up? Know. What if that was her real cell phone? Could have been. Never know. <laughs> um, it was directed by Peter Sullivan and um, produced by. Barry Barnholtz, Neil Long also produced it. Okay. Okay, this Jeffrey is the thing. Schnapp. I feel like, I mean, the thing is, like, it's just... Is this our first time producing, I wonder? Sometimes I want to be like, okay, so in order for you to get your movie 
sold to these production companies do you have to like have like a film degree or something because i feel like i feel like a lot of times people don't be having proper training in film and directorial yeah. and storytelling I, listen like it's just a whole bunch of trash because and i wouldn't want to put my name on that at all you like, feel me like it's like you don't it's like you don't even know the the fundamentals of storytelling that's what i'm saying like what training do you even have in this field like yeah okay me, you're a good an, actress i'm not even like, I'm a, i've never been in film i've never studied film but i shouldn't be on the outside knowing that this is just fucked up this is just not right and i want to know who made the final decision to be like this is it we don't need to do no more we got all our shots like Go ahead. Like, Put it's it like out. What? Like, what's the requirement? Like, there's so is it easy to just like make a film and give it to Netflix? Apparently, <laughs> let's but, go record something. Like on my I phone. said, nothing's new under the sun. So I was on Twitter, and so um, someone tweeted they made the same movie six times, and they had like a little photo grid. They had they had the perfect guy. They had when the bow breaks. They had the intruder. They had no good deed. They had till death do us part. And they had you know the fatal flare. Yeah. This is the thing about all these movies didn't suck. And obsessed. I'll say that no good. I mean, sorry, no no good deed. Oh, obsessed. Oh, of course, but that movie—I don't like that movie. I think it was trash. Beyonce. Even though, even though there was good actors in it, I think it was trash. Like Idris Elba is a great actor, but that movie was just uh. Uh-uh. But what I'm saying is, with the with these movies right here that they put up here, mm-hmm. I wasn't mad at No Good Deed. I wasn't mad at it. Even though it was a bit predictable, I wasn't mad at it because the acting was good. To Roger P. Henson and Idris Elba, they're they're great. I feel like I feel like the storyline wasn't bad either. It was cool. I, I fuck with it. It's fine. The perfect guy. The perfect guy wasn't that bad. It was definitely some scenes in there where I like ca- had to giggle because I'm like, this is ridiculous. But it was cool. Like I didn't think it was that bad. When the bow breaks, I didn't hate that movie either. But I think the ending was dumb. Yeah, I didn't hate the it. The ending was either. dumb. The movie, The Intruder, with Megan Good and Michael Ely. Um, I don't think that movie. That movie. I didn't hate that movie either. It was just. Uh, it was a bit lackluster, but it, it, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. And I never, I never saw it to the death do his part, but I imagine that it's about the same shit. I feel like that's who um, in that. Hmm? Who's in that? The same guy that played her, Neil Long's husband is actually in this movie, to death do his part. Tay Diggs is in that movie, and it's this girl right here. I don't know her name. Her. Yeah. So. I think I watched that. I think I it was on Netflix at one point, yeah. That's probably where I saw it then. And so, it's just like, like I said, like, it's, it's fine to make the same movie or the same concept, but it just it depends quality. on the quality, the storytelling, the backstory, how 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 do you, how you use it to play it out. It's you very know what choppy. I mean? Because even I was watching um I was watching Fear the other night with Mark Wahlberg and Reese Witherspoon. You never watched and it's this you know I've seen that movie before. Oh, girl, it's a classic, but mm-hmm. it was a teen classic rather. But again, that movie is the same thing. A crazy stalker guy wants to kill her, uh, wants to kill people that want to get away, get away, get in the way of him being with her and you know if if i can't have you no one can type shit it's the same shit but the movie was good because there was character development um everyone involved in the movie like all of the characters and all of the characters involved in the movie made sense yeah. it was cohesive it, it was it was a, it was a good it was a good build up and it just made sense this movie was a it horrible made sense. build up it was a good it was just... a good movie it was a good story it was good storytelling yeah i just <sighs> Girl. And then the um, also, and I'm like, Neil Long, you've been acting for too long to 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 be in this shit like this, like sis. No, yeah, that's a beginner shit. I think also the girl that played their daughter, like she didn't look like neither one of them motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, she. Did. I was just like, who is this girl? Why did y'all? And then she acted slow too. Mom, she came in the house when she came in the house the next time, and uh, on my episodes in there, and like clearly you fucking heard something while you was making your popcorn or whatever, but you just fucking ignored it because microwave went off. Bitch, somebody's in your house. This nigga was, had the knife about to kill her ass. And just sat, and then thing is, remember he sat the knife down and just left out the door. So, when were y'all going to show them saying, like, why is the knife right here? And of course, why is the knife and of course he thing? was, a, of course he was conveniently a, a tech savvy nigga. So he planted cameras in your home. And, and, and nobody saw you. him do that. The it. thing is, like, you never fucked this woman. So how are you this obsessed with her? And then you had a whole wife before her that you killed. So, so now she's next on the docket? Like, what the fuck did you just, you like. You her in. Since so you just randomly thought of her after you divorced after your wife divorced you and you killed her. So it, just, like, it doesn't like make any years. sense. And then even that opening scene with the when he killed the wife or whatever, it was still like dumb to me because I'm just like, uh, and then what the fuck? and then when he killed his when when back when his when he killed his wife or I mean the police just chalked it up and just said oh she like just just let it go act like he wasn't no suspect at all like they did no type of investigation like did y'all do no type of investigation because. 
to find out that this nigga really killed his wife. I guess he, I guess he framed it as something else. I, guess, I can't remember, but a girl, I'm not. She wasn't all, even that smart. First of all, I'm not even movie. going back to watch the movie. I'm just not going to do. Oh, it. I'm not watching that ever again. Uh, no, no, no. But uh, I'm, I never, I could never see. It. I honestly, I could have never watched it, and that would still be fine if I never saw it. It was, it was, it was like, like two hours of time. Because the thing is, I love, I love this type of shit. Like, girl, I grew up on Lifetime movies, and it was very much Lifetime yes. to me. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. But just give me good quality work. Give me, like, give, give me, give me, give me a good storytelling and situation. I, I, and you know, I respect me along a lot, and I respect Omar Epps. Too, and another thing and too is, like, Omar Epps, like I get, I get it. You're, he's getting older, but he lost his pizzazz to me. Oh, same. His face is I so fat now. I did. I did. I, Back, I, like go to love and basketball, just, baby. Yeah. Oh, and, and the best man, and ooh, and, and, um, and the wood. Juice. No, what, my bad. My bad. Was he in the best man? I'm thinking of the wood. Girl, ooh. No, he was in Best Man. Yeah, he was in the wood. He was on Juke. Like, Juke, girl, sexy love best boy. Yeah, like, girl. He was but it's sexy. now we're just like, mm, I don't know what's going on. I, I mean, I guess he, listen, I'm not talking shit. Like, I guess, you know, whatever. His face is fat. It is fine. I have a fat face, but it's it just, don't I don't look know. right on him. But no Makai Pfeiffer, he got a fat face now, but he's still kind of fine a little bit. Makai Pfeiffer still look good to me. But I don't yeah. think it fits on my apps. Like, so for his face to be so fat. Because Michael Ely has aged beautifully. He is still fine. He looks amazing. I can understand why motherfuckers want to... Like, he looks amazing. <laughs> he has and still does look amazing. <laughs> How you doing? Okay? Yeah. Like, I just feel like he lost his his, his, he did. his sex he appeal to me. To I, don't, so I don't mean to sexy. say that. And they, she, they made it seem like he looked so good uh, yeah. in Fatal Affair. And I'm like, this ain't the 90s no more. Like... Ooh, I feel so bad for saying that. I'm sorry. Like, I respect <laughs> you as an actor. Because I'm like, why is this, Juice? Why is this dumb friend like, Juice so present with me? Juice is my man? favorite movie. Like, I watch Juice all the time. Like, I love mm. your movies, usually. I love them a lot. Basketball, child. When that and that. Uh-huh. That, that, that thing, shit. Oof. Oh, my God. <laughs> right, he was fine as hell that movie. And he pulled his pants down. And he looked like he was like, "Yeah, I'm working with this. This is my shit." She right was there. like, "He was, like, oh yeah, that's me. Oh, that's all me, so No, nah, man. Mm-mm. And then the, the damn, the damn driver's license picture. That was just weird too. I just felt like this was just a lot for me. Like, this <laughs> just like, what is this? I feel so bad when I bust out laughing his, when I'm watching certain movies was, when it's not a comedy. He looks so demonic and creepy in that picture. Nobody saw this thing was crazy just from the license picture. If I'm a police mo- police officer and I pull this nigga over. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him have a nice fucking day. Mm. Fuck, like no, he he looked crazy as hell in that picture. Y'all was y'all didn't say let's take another one. I think the husband was fine. Yeah, he's fine. I, I think the husband. I think the husband should have should have played the, the crazy person. I keep forgetting where I seen the husband at. Until that's his part. He was in that movie, I think. Okay, so maybe I didn't watch that movie because mm-hmm. I can't remember. And he probably was in he probably was in some Tyler Perry movie or some shit. You right, know, so I can't Tyler Perry, I can't Tyler Perry be having all types of like the, the same rotation he, of light skin niggas. He, yeah. <laughs> He was the same people, like, period. It's like, nah. No, but he did. Yeah, he did. Um, but yes. Yeah, so. Just mm-hmm. But fine. yeah. Sorry, Nia. Try again. You need to produce. Give me something better. Like, you know, it's nice to try to get into other fields and do different things, but you, you're you going to do it. Because the, right. like, the thing is, like, but she, they said she was the producer. But that doesn't, that, doesn't, that doesn't really mean that she really, like, had a hand in, like, But I wouldn't want to. But it. once, because, you know, they're going to watch it before they actually put it out. I wouldn't want to. She I probably say, like. She probably like contributed to to the financial the finances of it. Or maybe. maybe that's why. She but can, I would look at unquote, that, producer. and I wouldn't want to put that out yet. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Like, do these people that's like the look the, at the film first? What are the standards? Like, do they, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like, do these people like actually watch the film before submitting it? In? I would. Wa- I would hope so. I would. I would watch. Do shit. they really sit there and say, "Wow, this is a good movie"? You know, I would watch this shit ten times if I have to before I put that shit out. I'm not gonna put no bullshit. I don't have my name on it. And things like your phone being upside down, you're like that shouldn't that shouldn't be that's some love and hip hop shit. Remember that scene when Yandy was on the off, off his phone with, and it wasn't even plugged in. Like you know what I'm saying? That's some love and hip hop shit. That's some I seen some like, shit where shouldn't... like there was they had, I guess they had the phone was on speaker or whatever. Mm-hmm. I forgot who like which even love and hip hop it was, but like you could see how they cut the scenes together. And at one point you saw the phone do like a whole backflip in their hand. Yeah. And I was just like. Some Ray J hat shit. Yeah, well, like, yeah even, even, so even, on that, even on on that Tyler Perry movie, like it was it was a whole list of things people people noticed. Like it was in it, one of the things that they noticed was when she was going through the text messages. Don't you know how you're looking at your phone's pictures or whatever, and like you can see what at the top is like in the the camera yeah. roll. It showed like it was the, the it was screenshots in the camera roll when she was looking at the text messages. Like it, it's things like that. It's like little detailed things like that that you that shouldn't. Shit and then, especially if you're like a, a an experienced director or or a screenwriter or 
whomever you yeah. are. Things like that shouldn't, that should not be, uh, that should not be clockable. It shouldn't be clockable at all. That's just ridiculous. Girl, I'm gonna make a movie now. Shit, fuck that at shit. At this point, everybody fucking doing it. You don't gotta fucking be fucking, iPhone at this point. I don't gotta be a motherfucking uh, film student to do this shit, shit now. Everybody fuck. rappers now, why I'm making shit, fuck that shit. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mark my words. I'm gonna write a movie and I'm gonna sell it to fucking Netflix and it's gonna be on fucking Netflix or Hulu or something like that. Show Liz. It don't seem like it's that damn hard. I'm gonna write a fucking movie. Because if that it. can get on Netflix, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> come on now. I just wanted. What was the budget? I wonder. I feel like they shot that movie in like five days. Yeah, that's what I said. It seemed very rushed. Like you said, it wasn't cohesive. They skipped a lot, and like if they had more time, it could have been better. But I feel he like he never was... fucked her. What was the affair? They didn't have sex. And why are you obsessed with the woman after seeing it was her? An, it was a fatal fling. You're still obsessed with her after 20 years? If you, if y'all you, were never together. You never fucked her ever. Like, y'all were never together. I know. He just admired her. She never paid that attention. What, so if she, about, what if she had whack pussy? Then what? You would have been mad as shit that you lusted after this bitch for 20 years. But the thing is, and you, why the is she the first the person you thought you, of? But, yeah, and the thing is, you were married before. So, like, like, literally, was there, like, a... So, if it wasn't her, was it the next girl that you were, uh, like... Secondly, attracted, attracted to like what, like what is it? Like what, like what is it? Like what? This was random. It's like it's like you really just dropped. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, Taylor. and maybe not. Maybe they were like younger. Like if they were in college, probably like five years ago, or something like that. It, Either way, they should have showed it's like 20. a back. They should have showed like a, a, a um a throwback clip of them or something. Definitely, like that. definitely. I don't understand. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I just all I can say is do better. You can't. It, it can only go up from here. Okay. Can't get it worse. Listen, y'all. If I have y'all haven't seen Fiddle Affair, watch it if you want to laugh. That's it. Yeah. Just like it's ridiculous. Um, just like that Tyler Perry movie we were just talking about. The, uh, whatever that What's shit. It called. Was. It was called. What the fuck was it called? That damn movie. With um Hannah from uh Have and I Have Not. Something I was called. I think she's so pretty. Um. Fall from Grace. Yeah. And like the, I think the plot was good. Like, yeah, I think the, I wasn't mad at the, I, I, was I, what was I mad about? What was I mad about with, uh, with that Tyler Perry movie? What was I mad about? The quality. The quality? Yeah. I, I don't know. It wasn't the plot itself. It was the I way like it, was it was done. I don't know. What was I mad about? And it was, I, that one was more funny than anything. And shit, if it was on Lifetime, I was still, it, it would have been fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. It's not but it's just, plan, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. Do a better just. job. Just do a better job. Period. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. I'm writing a movie. It was like a, that. It was a flop. It's a flop for me, though. A, a black. I'm writing a black thriller. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Get out style. I love a black thriller. I would love to be. Uh, I would love to be in a Jordan Peele movie. Just want to yes. put that out there. I can't wait to get dropped. Just, just want to put that out there. You about the Candyman about to come out next month? That's right. Yeah. I wonder what they're gonna put it on though. Like, what are they gonna? Yeah. Cause you know, a lot of these movies they trying to get you to talking, pay for. They talking cable. about they talking about doing some drive up um, movie theater shit stuff. I think it started. Yeah, it did start. Yeah, the RFK, the RFK Stadium. Yeah, I want to go. Me too. I forgot what it's called though. They, 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 they called Park they Up. Showing, like they that. showing like throwback shit though. I want to do it. Though. I always wanted to go to a driving movie. Me too. On some like 60s, 70s type shit. Like I want to go on a date to a driving movie. 50s type shit. I don't know. Have some, and girl, you can have your own food up in there. Eat your, eat your food. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have a drink. I was, I Googled Power Book 2 randomly the other day just to see if they um, listed the cast. They still didn't. But I saw that the first episode is going to premiere September 6th. They didn't announce it yet. But That's sometimes, but sometimes, sometimes when you, sometimes when you Google, huh? That's the day after my boyfriend's birthday. Oh, what y'all about to do? I don't know. I need to figure that out, don't I? Yeah, but so, you know, um, when, when you Google certain shows, it'll show you the schedule. And so it, it says episode one, uh, September 6th. Mm. Well, that's good to know. Now we got a day. I'm glad it's early September. Like, niggas, I need yeah. something to watch. So they need to hurry up and post like a poster about it or something. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But yeah. He love to make a nigga wait. Yeah. So I wanted to, before we get into everything, I wanted to just highlight a YouTube comment underneath when we posted the clip of, when we talk about Tamara quitting the real. Mm-hmm. Some girl, someone, someone commented because we said that Kiki Palmer will be a good candidate when it came to um, replacing her. Girl, some rando commented talking about some, 
yeah, Kiki needs to just stick to acting because she's too big of a celebrity. She's A-list. She's too big for that show. I'm like, excuse me. I was what like, um, Tamara about? Mowry is, is is of the has done a lot for this uh, for the culture. Like Tamara Mowry is a is a big her her Tia and Tamara are big names. Yes, everyone knows everyone knows about? Tia and Tamara. How is Kiki Palmer bigger a bigger star than Tia and Tamara? Well, that makes no fucking sense. At all. I don't understand what you're... Like, what do you mean? And, and Kiki Palmer can act and host the reel at the same time if she wants to. She was... I mean, she was hosting something before and Yeah, that's what I said. I'm like, y'all just be saying And she's thing. doing music. Like, she can do all that if she wants to fucking do yeah. it. Yeah. Like, shut your ass up. It's just dumb. It'd be, I think it'd be little kids saying some dumb ass shit. It does sound like somebody, something somebody younger would say that yeah. don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Is that... And um, I said this off air last episode... But I want to say it on here. I think Kiki Palmer will be a good will be a good match. Oh yeah. the real, and I think it will. And I think Gabrielle Union will be a good addition, only because Gabrielle Union, of course, she I think that she's very um in touch with the with the latest events and trends and even just even just intellectual things. But I, but they also need um it. She helps the demographic because she's a mom. Yeah. And you know they they when Tamara was there, Tamara was the only mom on that panel. Mind Mom's you. Not a mom? Hmm? Don't no, she don't got kids. She's not married. That. Um, Adrian, she don't got she don't got kids of her own. Yeah. Um, she you know she's she, I think her husband has kids from previous relationships, but you know Jeannie doesn't have a kid of her own. So yeah, I think I think Gabrielle Union will be like a will fit into the mom. You category. need a mom on there still. Yeah, mm-hmm. I definitely need another mom. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So. Kiki Palmer and Gabrielle Union, y'all. Mark my words. It'll be a good match. Just saying. Just saying. Just saying. Definitely agree. Definitely agree. Anywho. Ortho and Madeline in there, like I said. Hmm? I said Ortho and Madeline in there, too. She's a good one, like I said. Um, I think, I think but, she's very smart. I think she's very smart. I think she's very talented. But I think that she's still a little bit too young. For that. Yeah. Uh, she's 21. I think I think when I say too young, I, I, I'm talking about experience-wise. Yeah, it's like less life experiences. Twenty, uh, yeah. yeah, twenty one, and it's a pretty big age gap between everybody else. Yeah, and I feel and like her. she wouldn't be able to, even though Kiki Palmer is only twenty seven, she's not that old. I feel like Kiki Palmer has probably Let's probably experienced a little bit, a little bit more of a, of of life than Amanda. Of course, mm-hmm. so that's what twenty one. You don't know shit. Really, I mean, she know. I, like I said, Amanda. No, I mean, is she's so smart. smart. I just mean like, you know, like a twenty one. So you want to thought I knew every fucking thing. And no, I'm just talking about. Know. I'm just talking about experience wise. Just like, this life experiences. I feel like she probably. I don't even like. Listen, I don't know Amanda. You don't know her life, and I don't want to. I don't want to uh, belittle her. I'm just saying a twenty. I'm just talking. And generally, a twenty one year old hasn't really experienced um, that much when it no, comes just, to womanhood. If there were, I get what you mean. If there were a talk show for a younger demographic, mm-hmm. she could definitely. <clears throat> I think they need that more for that audience. Like I think the they teenagers need, I think they and need the, like a a nice talk show for like ages nineteen through twenty four or some shit or twenty three. Yeah, like that. they need a good talk show for that. I think that they think that that will really help. And it should be a nighttime, ooh, like a girl talk type of thing. Ooh, yeah, because like. Ain't no time they would be home during the day when it's mm-hmm. home. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe like a YouTube series. Maybe I don't know. That'd be cute too. Mm-hmm. I think that'd be good for them. Yeah, I wish I had it. Mm-hmm. Actually, Kiki Palmer actually had her own little talk show on BC, like for a hot little. She second. did, and it was. I used to watch it. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I, I think she. It. I think she had Shannon Shan Booty on it too. I don't remember the sexologist anything. or because um, it was. I didn't watch it like faithfully. I would just catch Kelly up had, on it, and I think Fifth Harmony was on there at one point too. That she had oh, really? a little, like nice little slight little show on BC. She showed, I liked she showed it. it. I remember. I liked she it. A lot. That's why that comment was stupid. I'm like, you don't even know Kiki Palmer. I remember. I remember. <laughs> I was like, she wasn't feeling. I was like, well, it's not for your age. Like, oh, that's fucked up. It wasn't like up. she's my age. It's not. It's not really for your age. She's my age. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna feel it. Yeah. She watched. Remember watched the view. I definitely think Kiki Palmer really needs to be on the real. They need her because I think the real it might get canceled. No. Eventually, because no? I mean, people dropping like flies. Mm-hmm. Like if you ain't got nobody to talk, <laughs> tell you the real. I think I honestly don't. Mm-hmm. And I have... think and I think I just I just feel like three hosts isn't enough. No, I think they need. They still need five. Yeah. Even when there was just four of them, I feel like that still wasn't enough. They, they remember when it was just four of them, they always had guest hosts come in. Remember that? I don't remember it was four. I don't. When, no, when Tamar left, it was just four oh, of them. Oh, for a while. while, yeah. Yeah, and they, they would always have guest hosts come in, like yeah. Tim or but they Jocelyn need, or... They need like a legit Yeah, five. five like a nice five main cast. But I think yeah. those would be good choices. Mm-hmm. They need, I hope, hopefully, 
put it out into you put it out into the universe mm-hmm. and make something happen. But they need to figure it out soon, though. Mm. Yeah. I, I mean, like well, Tamara. I guess they have time because ain't nobody about to. They, you know what I'm saying? But like, I just think because I, I feel like more more now than ever. It's probably more people watching now because there's more people home now. True, true. So and they have like a they have a lot of pre recorded stuff already, and they um show them at home anyway with the split screen and shit. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah I think there's more people home watching now, so I feel like mm-hmm. they should figure it out. And then mind you, Tamara left right behind. Amanda. Uh, Amanda. So it's like they was already hurting without one person, and now another one down. I was trying to figure out why she left, and I saw some things. Somebody said something about like budget cut or some shit like that. Like maybe they weren't trying to pay her. Like, I saw salary, like, like a salary cut. I saw it was like a big cut. Like a salary cut, some shit like that. Yeah, yeah she was not. So can they even can they even afford to even get to new people? Mm-hmm. That's a good question. I don't yeah. Know. I don't know. Well, good luck. Mm. Cause that show has a big fan base and stuff. Like mm-hmm. I, I don't. I'm not a huge fan, and I'm not a big fan of everybody on the show. But like, I don't want nobody. To be so I'm guessing work. like all the other people on the show are fine with the salary cut, except for her. Apparently, because I, I don't know if can they just be like, oh, we're just gonna cut your shit. I, I'm, I'm like, guessing I if, it, if she got to cut, then all the rest of the folks got to cut. Yeah, too. you can't just yeah. do like one person. Yeah, and maybe maybe she just was maybe because I think Tamara out of all of them, I think Tamara was in the industry longer. I think. Cause Lonnie Love ain't come out in in an Asian. So course, Adrian was was later on, and then Gina. Ma- yeah, I think yeah, I think out of all of them, Tamara was in the yeah. Been in she the started as a kid. Yeah, it's his sister, and yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, so. yeah. So maybe she's like, fuck that shit. I've been in this industry way too long for you to. She was like, I don't need this shit. shit. Yeah, fuck I guess so. So I, I can't know, be mad at her. So I know Adrian's jewelry line. It's called X. I think it's called X I X. I think or X I X I. Let me hold on. Let me make sure. I don't know. Child she has a jewelry line. It's really nice. I've been looking for some new jewelry. It's really nice. Buy. I'm actually gonna buy. I'm actually gonna buy from there. It's called X I X I. I guess ten ten or I'm sorry eleven eleven. Um, oh, just I need more jewelry. Yeah, it's oh yeah. eleven eleven. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Why? Cause you know, like she be trying to be all spiritual and shit. Like eleven eleven. Well, I don't know. I, 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 I never knew why she did I that. I just made that connection. Oh, she has those cute ass door knocker earrings that I want so bad. Um, like yeah, the old this, school this, ones. No, these right here. Oh, those are really yeah, cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I love these, right? Oh, I love... She has you these You love some statement earrings. She loves... She, I, you, damn, you know me so well. You I do. Daniel loves some statement... I could put some hoops on and be fine. Uh, uh, I just like... I like big earrings. I like I like studs when I want studs, but I like big hoops I do and love stuff when I want big There's these earrings right here that I love so much, right here. That's good. She's yes, Adrian Baylon. Adrian Baylon. She's very much like I feel like she has mastered the influencer, um, the entrepreneurial fashionista type of bag. Yeah, yeah. Because she has this, and she also has like a like a luxury handbag line too. And okay. and her Instagram is very um. And she got like a little YouTube shows. Uh, yeah, going she does. On I don't know she does. And YouTube. her YouTube, her um, her Instagram her page house is, beautiful. is really nice. Like she she has a really nice Instagram page. Yeah. So, Her house is so beautiful. It is. Mm-hmm. You don't know. Ooh, I love these earrings so much. The ones yeah. you just showed me, I love No, those other ones. I'm on her page. Oh, these are, oh my God. I love this. Yeah. Oh like God. her house, she she bought it, but she, she did a whole tour of it and how she, gonna, like how she was going to redesign and knocking walls down and all this shit. I don't know if she finished it. I haven't seen it. I haven't you said what? See. Like she gave a tour of her house. Girl, I think it was like a it. scandal behind that. Like people found out that it was really an Airbnb. <gasps> She was talking about she was going to knock this wall down and do this and that. <laughs> I, I, sw- this wall down. I swear to God, she was knocking walls down. No, nah, uh, she was. Getting, what, I mean, that's what, that's what somebody said. I don't it was like a whole that. sliding board with a pool at and all of that. Like it's called her her luxury bag line is, is called La Voute. La Voute. Yeah. What is it? How you spell it? It's it's French. It's L A V O U T E right here. I'm about to buy her. I'm about to buy her earrings though. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm about to buy that shit. No, nah, that shit is cute. My whole it's thing really is cute. like, I just, um, if I ever come out with like an accessory line or like a, a handbag line, I don't really want to, um, I don't really want to subscribe to the quote unquote, um, I mean, it could be a look out. Like I'll come up with something maybe luxury. Maybe I'm not saying that I won't ever come out with anything luxury or I'm against anything luxury, yeah. but I'm not going to subscribe to the, Oh, it only has to be like a foreign name for it to be luxury. Like if I want to call it fucking just Keisha, I'm gonna call it Keisha. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just, it doesn't I'm have to say. Like, I'm not gonna do that because I feel like she's not French. So like, why is this French? Like, you know what I'm saying? But it's fine. Like, I, some people just like that's fine. Like, that's fine. But I'm saying like, for me, I'm just not going to subscribe to that mindset. 
And I'm not saying that she is, but I'm just saying, like, I, I don't feel like... Because um, she seems to be obsessed with friends. Like, yeah. Just seem like Actually, a- she even said on the show, she, she said she, called, she named it that because she just thinks it just seems luxury or whatever. But for me, I just want to... I don't want to do that. Anywho, um, okay, so on to the, on to the pop culture news, celebrity news. Big shout out to Yara Shahidi. She just inked a, a production deal with ABC. Um, she has her own... Let me make sure I say this right. And make sure I say this right. Uh-huh. That's my girl, Yara. She inked the deal with her mother. So it's, it's her and her mother that have it. But yeah, so it says, Yara Shahidi signs overall deal with ABC Studios. The grownish star and executive producer is forming a production company with her mother and business partner, Carrie Shahidi. So yeah, so she's going to be um, producing like original shows and things like that underneath the... Um, I'm for that. Underneath ABC Studios. I'm so for yeah, that. I'm and I'm a, de- I'm, that, girl. I'm a definitely be waiting Do on her projects. Thing, I'm definitely be waiting on projects. So I love shout out her. to Yara Shahidi. Shout out to Rihanna because she just announced her Fenty skincare line. Yes. Definitely going to be copying that because sis, my, my, these breakouts, honey. My, my makeup is bomb. Shingles. So I'm definitely going to see about this foundation skincare. faithfully. Yes, I use ma'am. Fenty foundation and Kat Von D foundation. I yep. never used Kat Von D before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just, I was always using MAC mm-hmm. because that was, because my skin has like reddish undertones, but nobody else could like match it well. But Mac always did. Mm-hmm. But then now Fenty does well. Mm-hmm. So I'm Do you like, use Fenty? Yeah, I use Fenty. Mm-hmm. I, I just bought that foundation since we've been in the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And I bought it. They had a sale for. Um, you got hella Mac lipsticks though. I, can only, I, I only threw a lot like, away. I had like 30. I only have like maybe two or three MAC lipsticks, but I, all the rest of my lipsticks are like NYX. I still buy that. Like I mean, I'll buy Spacia. Maybelline, NYX, whoever I want. Mm-hmm. But like, I'll still buy. Mac, if they have a color that I really want, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like I don't give a fuck who. If it's at the beauty supply, if it's oh, yeah, cute, I'm gonna buy it. They, they, they sell, they sell Nicks at the damn CVS. I'm changing Target, that shit. Walmart, mm-hmm. what? I don't care. But I haven't used a, a stick. I, all, all of my stick satin uh, lipsticks are Mac, but I but I only have been using liquid lipstick recently. Well, not, well for a I while got some now. Liquid lipsticks, too, yeah. yeah. That's through Nicks. They just last so long. Yeah. I haven't tried any Fenty liquid lipsticks yet. I want to try some Fenty. I have. I I had one. I think I left it over to my house. Damn, they sold that shit. Mm-hmm. They probably did because it was new. Yes, but those are those are the shout outs. Yeah, um, my good. list isn't really too long. Honestly, I ain't gonna hold you. But um, I'm gonna briefly brush over this thing right here. So. Wow. Okay, so this, the thing with Kanye West, right? This uh, is the thing. And I'm not going to really get too much into this because help. I don't want this. Is, it really upsets me, honestly. And I do think that he needs help. Um, and I think I think that he's not fit to be a president, even though the president that we have right now is fit to be a president. But I, d- I definitely think that Kanye West is definitely not fit. He's not emotionally stable. He's not mentally stable. He doesn't have. He doesn't really have the rhetoric. I feel like he doesn't have the education either. Um, with the whole, in, with, like I said before, the president that we have now doesn't have the education. There's no either. political background but, whatsoever. But even, but even though Trump, Trump didn't Trump have one either, even. so like that's I'm not, I'm not going to really emphasize that too much. What I'm saying is like you know I just feel like he needs help, and um, he went on a really big Twitter rant. I didn't really see too much of it. I had to go on his page because I have him. I have him muted. I have, I've had him muted for years now. Um, Understandable. Yeah, I just couldn't do it anymore. But you know, you guys have seen. Uh, what's been going on right now in the news with, with concerning Kanye West and if you haven't go google it because I'm not going to talk about it on the show I don't fucking want to um, but what I am going to say is I, for me when it comes to Kanye West I have always been a Kanye West fan I've been mm-hmm. a Kanye West fan since middle school I think or like late like maybe elementary school middle school when he first came out I've always been a fan school. I've always admired his style I've always admired his music and um, I've been a fan since the beginning and you know I really feel like I just I don't really I don't really want to let this um consume me honestly i try to ignore as much as i can and just listen to the music honestly because that's where that's where he um is is that's where his expertise is to me is the music yeah so i'm just going to focus on the music honestly he has an album coming out this week i guess on friday um i'm going to listen to that and um that's my that's my whole stand i just i'm pray for that man yeah i really want him to get I the think help it's he really needs. weird that he said something about they were going to abort North. That was weird. Yeah. Like, and he was then, like, and my was dad that, and didn't then, want me. That, and then he said, like, yeah, he almost got aborted because his dad was too busy. But the thing is, like, uh, this, that's the case for a lot of kids nowadays. Like, a, a lot of a lot of pregnancies are not planned. And a lot of people that have kids right now are not prepared, but they still go through with it. And they still become parents. Saying. So it's, like, it's very weird to even, like, emphasize. It's and just, I want to say that because I don't want my daughter to see that. And, like, she might not know what the word abortion means right now, but she Then it was weird that he said that 
it was it was between either the gap deal or Kim getting pregnant. It was just weird to me because it's like you both are rich, so like it's just you have you both have the means to have children, and like it was just it was just really weird to me. Yeah. Um, and he tried to he tried to shut. It was like this black girl in the audience that was telling him off, and she was really making sense, and he was just kind of like shooting. It was just it was just a lot. It was just like I said before, I'm not going to let this really consume me too much. I'm going to focus on the music because that's where Kanye has his expertise, and that's that for me, honestly. Yeah, I really don't want to talk yeah. about it. I just, <laughs> but it's just, yeah, you know, uh, yeah. Pray for Kanye West. Pray for Ye. Neil Long. Yeah. So, do you have anything to say about that? No, I didn't even want to get into it, but I knew it was probably going to be brief. I didn't want to put too much energy into yeah, it. I'm not, I'm, I, I yeah, I'm. I freeze. Yeah. Like I, I don't, I don't want to put too much energy, too much of my energy into negativity involving people that I don't even know that I can control. I can, I can literally can control what I consume from you. Right. So I'm not going to even like, even engage in that. You know what I mean? Right. I can literally log off or like swipe away from your I don't, shit. Yeah. I don't you know have what to I'm be that's, that's that. my whole thing. Anywho. Um, so did you see, did you see, um, what offset posted? He gave, he get, I put up oh, on the purse, page. the yeah. bag. Yeah. He, he get he gifted culture, a Birkin bag and Birkin bags are like, Twenty plus thousand dollars, so yeah, whatever. Um, I'm not sure how much that one, specific one was called, but thousands of dollars, very expensive. So he gave her the bag for her birthday, and you know she clearly, is, you know, culture is two years old, and you know she saw the bag, she's like, oh, okay, and she put it back down, and like you know whatever, two she's two year old, whatever. So people were in the comments saying, you know, basically saying like, you know, she wants a, she wants toys, not no damn Birkin bag, you know. what I'm saying some someone said she put that bag right down. She wants some fucking Barbies, whatever the fuck, um, you know, whatever. So then Cardi B chimed in, of course, in the comments saying she has plenty of Barbies and that's fine, like whatever. And so she went, so then she went on her, um, she went on her Instagram. Actually, let me send this to you right now. People like when a celebrity buy their kids jewelry, and and. Like, you know, designer shit. People be like, kids don't care about that. <laughs> they only care about toys and candy. Yeah, kids only care about toys and candy. But the thing is that kids also go outside. You know what I'm saying? Kids go to restaurants. Kids go to fancy places. Mm-hmm. Celebrity kids, they go do red carpets. And if I'm fly and daddy's fly, then so is the kid. If my kid, if I'm wearing Shanae my kid's having the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not, what, it's not up to what the kids like. If, if it was the kids, they'll be outside in diapers. No. Because if I was looking like a bad bitch, expensive bitch, and I have my kid looking like a bum bum, then y'all would be talking shit. So I'm not mad that daddy bought baby a Birkin. She gonna match mommy. Okay. So here's the thing. This is what I this is what I think. You can say what you want, whatever you want to say. But my whole thing is, okay, so this is their kid, their money. They clearly have the means to give their two-year-old a Birkin bag. That's fine. None of my fucking business. None of my business at all. Thank you. But I also, I also, um, you know, you know, in the, in this, she said it right there. She said she don't care what she likes or not. Like, of course, they don't care what the, about, about a Birkin bag. She don't care. She just wants to, you know, it's about, it's literally a, um, I get what she's saying. And I get, she's saying that she wears Chanel. Her kid gonna have Chanel. She has the means to do it. That's fine. Right. Whatever. But my whole thing was, my only issue was, he was like, he, he gave her the gift. He presented it to her. And it was just like, what's she going to say? Like, she's not, she can't she appreciate, know what Birkin she is. Know, she don't know what that is. So that was my, that was the only thing that made me chuckle. Like, you're over here um, unpackaging this Birkin bag with this two-year-old. She don't care about this shit. Like, don't. she don't care. Like, you, like, you, it like should have been some toys inside. It's time. not like, it's not like Quavo giving Sweetie a Birkin bag and her doing a Birkin split. Like, you know what I'm saying? She literally, yeah. like, she ain't going to do splits like Sweetie. No, because she don't know what this fucking shit is. That's my whole thing. Like, you present, you present her this bag. Like she want to know like that's what the fuck a, it is. That, that bag could have been from Target. She wouldn't. It wouldn't have been it no would, different. Yeah, like she. Yeah, like, but like I said, like you know, whatever it is. It's your kid, your money. You have the means to do that. That was my my only issue was you like unpackaging it for her and like saying like, oh look at this. Like she, she, she don't that. know what the fuck that is. <laughs> she was like, just like okay. Yeah, but then I also think it was a bit extreme for Cardi to say though. I will say this: it was a bit extreme for her to say like, oh, if I'm in Chanel and y'all say something, she look like a bum. No, that's very extreme. Like she could still wear something from Old Navy and she, she could still look nice and clean. Like. That's a bit extreme for you to say, for you to give that comparison, but. Uh, I don't think she meant, like, if you wear something cheap, like a bum. I don't think no, she no, she said like, it. She said, y'all be saying something if, if I if I had on Chanel and then she looked like a, like a little bum bum. But, like, it's not, she's not going to look like a bum either way. It's like, you can't, how's she going to look like a bum? Like, how? Because you wearing Old Navy versus, versus Burberry? I didn't take it that way, but. I just what think, you mean? Like, I, I didn't take it that way. I didn't think she meant, like. 
she was like a bummer. She didn't wear like Chanel and wore something cheaper. No, I no, just, I'm saying like she made it seem like it, she was. It was a. It was a very extreme comparison. Like I feel like it was a very extreme comparison. Yeah, because obviously, like you said, you were old navy. That's you're not. You don't look like a bum. Yeah, old navy has nice stuff. Yeah, but um, it wasn't a extreme comparison. But I don't think she meant it in that extreme way. I think she should use a different word. Yeah, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but um, I agree. Is what you said. Like, it's their money if they want to buy this child Birkin and Chanel and Gucci and everybody else. That has nothing yeah, to do yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, I think it was very weird. People in the comments saying, "Oh my god, just get her some toys." Like, what the fuck? Like, she don't care about this. She was, she was a Barbie, and she, Cardi was like, she has. She even, she even showed on her story later on that day. She was, she showed like she probably got toys. She, yeah, like everywhere. She, showed, she, yeah, yeah, she showed it. Like, she had a whole playroom. Yeah, yeah. Like, come on now. She, I'm sure that girl got plenty of toys. She probably, it's probably no more toys to buy that girl. Yeah. honestly. <laughs> But I'm mean, and like she said, if I'm wearing Chanel, then my baby's gonna wear Chanel. Like, yeah, it's funny. She is not the only celebrity out here who child got designer stuff, like, yeah. and she will not be the last. Like, if they can afford it, why the fuck? Not? Yeah, I think the only like I, said, I think the only problem was like he like unboxed yeah. it for her. For I just her. think sometimes just... people get into it too much and care too much. I'm like, at the end of the day, it's not coming out your pocket. Yeah, but I do think it was. I still I do think like at the same time, it was probably no point buying it for her because she didn't care. But it's like whatever. Yeah. Then their pockets are not hurt. Yeah, that, and so. I'm not gonna say, yeah, yeah. And it's not coming out of my pocket. Exactly. So. Yeah. I don't have a Birkin. I had a fake Birkin before. <laughs> Girl, I got me I got me some Tarjay bags, honey. Hello? And some Forever One bags. Target versus be real cute. They do they real be they be real fucking cute, honey. I be, I, be, I done bought bags off of Amazon. <laughs> uh Shein. Mm-hmm. Uh what? I just got some shit from yeah. Shein today. Yeah. I don't I never, I mean, I didn't grow up rich at all, but, like, I never cared about where stuff came from. Mm-hmm. Like, at the same time, I got some Levi's in the closet, but I also got some jeans from Walmart. Like, if the shit, oh, yeah. the shit is cute, I'm going to wear it. I don't give a fuck yeah. where it came from. I never did. And if I ever become rich, I will, my kid won't be fly, too. Yeah. I'm just not going to be like, hey, here's the Burberry. Look at this. Like, no, I'm not yeah, going to do that. No, you just put, because as a when kid. When it's time to go to a red carpet, I'm going to put it on you. As a kid, you just put on what your mother mm-hmm. bought or what your father bought or yeah. whatever, like. My mother didn't care about her, if I didn't like half the shit she bought, but she still if I didn't like it, she bought it, so I'm still gonna put the shit on. Right. But like not I'm not gonna be like, Hey, look, you like your new shit? She doesn't care. She yeah, like a lot of times like when I went to school, like a lot of bitches was bald head, but I always had nice long <laughs> hair. Cause my mother make sure my hair was nice and yeah, taken me care too. of. I used to get my hair done every two weeks. Mm-hmm. Bitches was mad, but a lot of bitches mothers didn't get done. Keep they don't keep their hair. Yeah, up like they that. don't. But my hair was always and done so every they two weeks. They growth was stunted and the hair broke mm-hmm. off. My shit was done every two weeks, like you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. They used to be like, "Well, your hair long." No, real long. Yeah, I'm, I was this hating ass boy at school. One in middle school, he was hate. He was a fucking hater. He was so weird. But like he. He's like, oh, mm, you got tracks? No, bitch, my hair. Yeah, this boy tried to say to me before too. I'm like, no, bitch, my hair is just long and healthy. Okay, I'm not a bald head black bitch girls like can you. have nice, exactly, healthy long I'm not hair a bald too. Bitch like you, the, the fuck? fuck? Like, I know this boy. I swear to God, it took for years. This nigga dreads didn't even fucking grow. <gasps> oh my god, them bitches was like this for years, like two inches. Because honestly, they honestly, sometimes hair. genetics isn't enough. You need to just oil that shit. Hair is like flowers. Oil it. Trim it. Take care of it. Take care of it. You gotta nurse it. To yes. Help. <laughs> It Wash takes it because water is definitely important, definitely helpful in hair growth. It yes, is. yes, very okay. much so. Yes. Anywho, congrats to Dicky Minaj. She is pregnant with her first child. You know, I'm tired of saying people say that's a pedophile's baby and da, da, da. People are weird. It's like okay, but she's pregnant. So what the fuck are you gonna do? People are You weird. keep saying this, but nothing you do is gonna change it. Mm-hmm. It's not your life. She decided to get pregnant by quote unquote pedophile. Then her, the photo she, she was amazing. She looked really good. She looked really good. Arrogant tail on the lace. I, um, yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. I, um, yeah, she looked good. I really liked the photo shoot. It, it definitely gave me like old Nikki, older mm-hmm. back in the day Nikki mm-hmm. vibes. I remember that short yellow bob mm-hmm. wig from like another look. And mm-hmm. I was like, oh, she brought that wig back. Mm-hmm. And I like that color on her. I'm happy for her. Like, she finally is having her family. Because I remember when she had that little documentary on MTV, she was like, she had lost a child. Yeah, previously. she had a, she had an abortion as a, because she had, she was a um, pregnant teen. Yeah, and she so, had an abortion because she And I knew she ready. wanted kids, so mm-hmm. I'm glad she's finally getting to. I wonder if she ever freeze her said eggs. That, she said that, she said that, huh? Because how old is Nikki? Like, 38? She's like, she's like, um, um, let me see, because she's, she's either 35 or, um, 36. Let me look at oh, her. Oh, shit, I said 38. That's the thing about she, celebrities. Like, like Janet she's Jackson had her baby. At, close. She's 37. Okay. So Janet had her baby at 50, but you know, they can get nannies and shit if they need it. 
Yeah, but yeah, it's you know it's risk it's risky after thirty five and have kids. Yeah, anyway. you might be a pregnancy would be high risk. Yeah, so she definitely won't. maybe she did freeze her eggs. I don't know. Maybe, mm. and she probably the part like at that age like the doctor probably gonna tell you like a lot of bed rest and shit like that because mm-hmm. you know the like you know especially in the early stages the more stress you have you can lose the baby like that like you can lose the baby off nothing in the early early months. Mm. So yeah. She was definitely probably high risk or whatever. Mm-hmm. But she's doing well. Um, I wanted to be a girl. Yeah, me too. I think it'll be real cute for her. I want to have girl. a little. I feel like she would. She would be that type to have like a little mini me oh, and dress really like cute. stuff. Yeah, really I always wanted to do that. Mm-hmm. But then I always wanted a daughter first. Like my mom had a, a girl and a boy first. Mm-hmm. But now I'm like, my friends have daughters, and I don't want a mini version of myself. Why? <sighs> I'm driving you the fuck crazy. My niece was just here before you left. Before you, like, she probably left like 30 minutes before you got here. She drove me the fuck crazy in like five minutes. I want her to leave. Mm-hmm. And I love her to pieces, but. I want a little I girl. Was tired. I want a little Mimi. I, I don't know no more. Do you see me as a mom? Hmm. I could. You could? I could. I could see it. Could you see me as one? Yeah, that'd be cute. You have patience. I learned that mm-hmm. from where I work. I didn't have it. I mm-hmm. learned it slowly. Mm-hmm. But I, I think, I mean, I'm pretty good with kids. Like, I'm pretty good with them and, like, talking to kids. I'm kind of a big kid myself. Mm-hmm. So, and like, I, I'm pretty good with setting that tone. Like, you know, yeah, we can be friends, whatever. Like, mm-hmm. but, like, especially at work. But, no, you're going to do this motherfucking work. You're going to, like, I'm still... Your super, not your superior, but I'm still in charge. This is, uh, I I'm definitely, when I have kids, I definitely want to, I'm, I'm the type of person that when I have kids, I want to do the things that my parents didn't do. Like when it came to, nice. when it comes to mental health, like I don't want to do what my parents did to me. No, not at all. Yeah. And I want my kids to know they can come and talk to me about whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't want you to be scared to come and talk to me about something. Yeah. Like, whatever it is, you should, like, no, you can come to me. I don't care what it is. I might be pissed at you, whatever. But at the end of the day, you're my child, so we're going to figure it out. We're going to work it out, whatever. You're pregnant or you got somebody pregnant, struggle with your sexuality, or you, you could be you should, you could be suicide, whatever it is, come and talk to me so we can fix it yeah, or handle it the way it should be handled. Because, like, yeah. Everything yeah. my mom or my father didn't do, I'll just say my mother, really. Mm-hmm. Um, Anything that they didn't do, I... Yeah, I would. I just know I'm a. I'm going to raise my children differently. Yeah, I, like, I, I think I know. Like, I think I'm very in touch enough to know what not to do and what to do. And that's what I always say, cause like, cause I feel like I feel like you know you know obviously like you know all of our parents were kids at one point they were our age at one point but I feel like somewhere along the line they forget how how it was being a yeah. child being growing up and like they just. They just do things that are just like not un- very understanding. So it's like, did you forget how it was when you were a child? So why are you like, doing this? You, you know were I mean? me at one point. Yes, yeah, like, so like wouldn't like wouldn't you want like you know what I mean? Like I always say you like you would think from the things that happened to you as a child, you would learn what not to do. Mm-hmm. Like my father wasn't there for me, but his father wasn't there for him. So if your father was never there for you, you have three children that I know of. And you don't do shit for that one. So mm-hmm. it's like you're just you're just following a cycle. And I I always say, and I know I know my mother would never let this happen. My brother will never be that nigga. I swear he won't. I'm gonna whoop his ass. My my issue was with my parents. My issue was like they were very um like they were they were there. I had both parents. They were in the house, household. They were both there there for me. Like when it came to like providing wise mm-hmm. as a provider, but I feel like they were both just very out of touch. They were very out of touch when it came to just like me, like when it came to growing pains, they were very out of touch. Like I, they, they were very extreme and they didn't like let me, they didn't listen to me. They didn't let me talk. They didn't let me express myself to them. That's how it was for me. And, that, and I felt like, and I felt like they didn't let me ex- express myself to them. And I feel like that kind of like hurt me in the long run because, you know, now I'm an adult. So now I feel like I'm more comfortable with expressing myself. I'm more comfortable with, with, forming, my, with forming my own thoughts and just being an independent thinker and just like not always thinking like oh my god am i am i wrong for it you know it's just it's just it's just like i feel like um you know i just feel like i wasn't very comfortable mentally with them 
if that was, makes sense. My, I was like that with like most yeah. of my family, period, like mm-hmm. cousins, aunts. I was like that. As a kid, I was very, like a little kid, up until I got to like middle school, I was very shy and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I mean, I'll talk to any, I'm still, I always been to talk to whoever. If you're mm-hmm. cool, I'll talk to you. But like, at the same time, I was very quiet and like reserved. I'm not like that now, if you notice. Know mm-hmm. I, I say what the fuck I, I think. Like, mm-hmm. I don't. But I, I didn't get, like I said, I didn't get like that top like, 12 or 13. Mm. But I, I was always, like you said, you were always, you know, second guess yourself. I don't know if this is right to do or that's right to do. Your parents are not to express like, yourself. Or just, like, mental, just, like, mentally confident. Like, I, like I feel like I'm the I'm the same as I was, like, younger, like, you know, when it came to, like, my personality. Like, I'm always, like, this is my personality. I'm very outgoing. I'm very talkative. I talk to anybody. But um, I feel, I feel like... Um, I feel like I wasn't very um, mentally confident when it comes to, oh my God, like if someone didn't like me, it's like, oh my God, the world is ending type shit. You know what yeah. I mean? Or like, even if like, this was like socially, like, you know, how you can't, how you can't really be nice, too nice around certain people because they'll see it as like a weakness or, or like, you know, just, just being confident enough in myself to defend myself. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, yeah. like a lot of times, like I feel like I, I feel like, and the thing is like, I feel like I overcompensated of a conversate for it now but back then like in school growing up like i was bullied like i was bullied i didn't really like um like a lot of times like in elementary and middle school like girls would just you know how people would just like first of all the high school and the middle school that i went to well my first two years of high school at, at, at a certain high school i was at and then like middle school i feel like um those schools were just like full of toxic ass people anyway mm-hmm. but you know how people just like test you and see oh how about they can push you yeah how they can put that far they can push you type shit but like, I, I feel like i wasn't really um you know just very savvy and like how people play those mental games so i felt yeah. like i fell in the trap of like oh they ain't, they ain't gonna do shit we can do this we can do this shit to her what type of shit so i was kind of i was bullied a little bit when it came to certain things like that it was mm. that and like and then like how people how people are you know how people just gaslight growing up like yeah. oh mm, like oh it's like oh they don't like they yell like you know if one person didn't like me and then that means their friends didn't they, like me. Yeah, then it, was, it was like a domino effect. And then it was like all of a sudden, like, oh my gosh, no one likes Danielle. That means she's a problem type shit. So it was, yeah. it was, it was a lot of, it was a lot of very much, um, don't nobody like you. Don't nobody like you type shit. But it was really not that. It was really just them and their group of friends. And then being like, dumb. and it was being dumb. And then like just people being followers around them type shit. You know what I mean? And, um, that was definitely a big thing in high school for me too. Like my first two, my first two years of high school, that was a really big thing for me. And I feel like, um, you know, I feel like my parents were, weren't really in touch, and I feel like I couldn't really talk to them too much about certain things because they just didn't understand. Like, they, just, they didn't under, they think they understood, but they don't. I felt the same way. And, um, you know, it just was, you know, and um, I definitely had, I definitely had, like, I, I like definitely had, like, a teacher, one specifically, um, I definitely had a teacher specifically, like, he was very toxic, too. He was, he was very childish. Like, he encouraged certain students to say things. It was just, he was very toxic and childish. Like, yeah, like, I'm seeing the it was, it was horrible. Yeah, like, he, um, so yeah, like so, it, and a lot of times, like things would happen where, like, it would, it would seem like it was something that it wasn't, and it would seem like I was the issue when I really wasn't. Yeah, because a lot of people were just followers, and if, if and if there's like a popular opinion about something, that means it's, it's all of a sudden a fact, and I fell victim to that a few times in high school, and then that, that actually that actually translated to my parents. And it seemed like to my parents, I was like this issue, this behavioral issue, but it really wasn't the case. I've been there before. You know what I mean? So it was, it was, it was that definitely. And I definitely, it definitely is traumatizing. I definitely flash back and think of those things like here and there, but I have to remember Same. like, oh my gosh, this is not, this is, this is not a fact. This is not a fact. This is not a fact type shit. So. You know what I also wish my parents did like, or I wish they told me I was like pretty and stuff more because mm. I used to think. I wasn't pretty because I'm not mm. light skinned. Like I really used to think that, mm. but like n- now I wouldn't like trade my skin color mm-hmm. for nothing. Like I actually get since I'm older now. Like I, I appreciate darker skin more. Honestly, like I love some chocolate skin. I like I need to go outside because I want to get a tan. But um, I but I used to think that I wasn't pretty because, you know how society is and like it conditions you to think that that's like the standard and that's like what pretty is and I really thought that. Like, I, I I thought, I would just look at my face in the mirror and be like, ugh. And, like, that's sad. Like, no little, no little girl should think that. But, like, yeah, I would say something I was pretty more, like, told me to, like, love my skin. My skin is mm-hmm. beautiful. Everything, all of, all of that. And my mother was just telling me, my, my mother, she used to, like, she started giving me perms. Because 
she was telling me my hair was nappy, but I wish she never even gave me a perm. Mm-hmm. And just, like, let me. And it wasn't even nappy. It was just, for some reason, I used to get, like, one little BDB in the front. Mm-hmm. And she would perm my whole head for that one damn BDB. And I'm just like. I definitely, I got, I started getting perms when I was, like, eight, nine years old. Yeah. I was probably like eight or nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was around there somewhere, but then I and I told her, I told her, I wanted my hair like ten to Murray when he started wearing mm-hmm. it straight out, and so she was like, "We well, want to get a perm," and I was like, "Why can't you just straighten it? Why I gotta get a perm?" Mm-hmm. I didn't even want a full no no perm. She just started doing it, but I didn't get a choice in that. She just fucking did it. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, I never really um I never really had um any hair conflicts until I went natural in 2012. I had to defend my natural hair. So like this random, this, I mean, I got praise for my natural hair from, with, when, it came to, when it came to strangers and stuff like that, but there'd be certain men here and there that would say little dumb shit to me. Like this, this random shit, but like, I like, but mostly I'll get praised for my natural hair. Like, like that, but uh, mm-hmm. you know, that was after like 2012, that was like when natural hair was like the trend, like the thing to do. But I never really had like any, I never really had any hair issues um, growing up because I, I always had a perm growing up and my hair was always long and thick. So I always got like, people always like, fetishize over my hair a lot. Um, I never really had a problem with that. But it wasn't I a just... problem. My hair wasn't a problem for me. It was just my mouth. My, my, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. No problem with like my parents saying like wild shit to me. Like never, they never said anything wild to me about my hair. It, it was always like, a, it was always like, oh my gosh, your hair is so thick. And the thing is, she, when she said, when she would say like, oh, that little BDB getting you know, on my nerves or whatever in the front. And then it's not like it hurt my feelings. It didn't hurt my feelings because my, my family's very vocal and honest. That's just how they are. Like, if you you can't be sensitive as shit in my house mm-hmm. or in my family, period, because everybody's just honest like that, which is fine. But it's just, I didn't want the perm. And when I tell you I don't want the perm, you still get the perm. To, when that it comes to issue. things like that, you have to like look back and, and, find, and see why you think that about hair. Because mm-hmm. that's a systematic issue. Yeah, because you like you're telling me I can't have straight hair. I can't straighten my hair without a perm. No, yeah. you can still do it. Yeah. But back then, when we, I'm eight or nine years old, everybody has a perm. Yeah. That was like the thing to do. Yeah, I thought it was, I so, thought it was normal, yeah. Yeah, it was, that was the normal at that time. So, you know, she was just like, that's the way to do it. And But I really didn't want to. I just wanted to straighten my hair, have it cute for a little while. And it was going to go back to my, because my hair, I have very soft hair. Like, I really didn't need no perm. Yeah. The only time I had to defend my natural hair um, was as an adult in my early 20s with my grandmother. Like, she just... The one... um, The one I met? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's just... And she's Caribbean, so, you know, it's a lot of colorism and self-hate in the Caribbean. Yeah. In the Caribs or whatever you want to call it. But, like, you know, I had to defend it because she just... And she just, she's just very negative and just like, she's just very negative and ignorant. So that, that's one time I had to really defend my, my hair to a family member. But, um, but yeah, like, I just feel like, um, you know, I've, I, when it came to like the parenting, um, aspect of it all growing up, like they just were just, I had a lot of issues with them. I was never really mentally comfortable around them. Um, it was a lot of things that they, they, they didn't understand with me. Um, they weren't very understanding. They did not let us ex- express ourselves. Like my sister is older than me and she can attest to it too. Like she had their, her own issues with them, but it was just literally like similar issues. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Um, and I feel like as an adult, I kind of resent them. Like I don't really speak to them at all. Like yeah. they, you know, my mom tried to reach out to me here and there because she's like, oh my god, you don't, like they get mad that I don't, I don't talk to them. But it's just like growing up, I have all this resentment towards you because of the things that you've done. Yeah, so why are you saying when they be calling you all the time and stuff? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like I, I don't talk it. to them. I don't talk to them, and I f- honestly feel like me not talking to them it just gives me peace of mind. I don't want to deal with them. I just don't. I, I just know. don't. And I just I don't have. I don't have that many. And you need I don't peace really of mind. Have, I don't really have that many good memories or good feelings towards them. Honestly, I just don't. That's sad though, and that's one thing too. Is like, um, you know, I would never want that with my kids. That yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's the thing. Like, I, I that's a, I know what not to do when I have kids. I know what not to do. I want a I'm relationship gonna, with gonna, my kids. Bully, yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna bully my kids because the thing is like, they're your kids, but then they're your they're your kids and they're your property too. But they're still people, and you know what I'm saying. Like, you still have to treat them like people, and they're gonna grow up one day, and you're gonna. It's the things like I'm like I'm like why that's why I'm like why are you so confused as why why as why I don't talk to you I got my ass beat for did, everything you did me too and my brother don't like, give me shit never and, did and the thing is like you did X Y Z to me and then you're still confused as to why I don't talk to you as an adult I don't forget this shit <laughs> no I can forgive you but I don't have to forget yeah so that's my whole thing well we learned a lot of lessons growing up yeah and we know we're not to do with our own kids I want a relationship with my children are always a very a good relationship they should better come to me about whatever the fuck issues they got going on. I just never want to forget how it was growing up. That being a kid, being a being a little girl, being a teenager, being a woman. I just don't ever want to forget that. Mm-hmm. 
because it made you who you are today and you learn from all of that shit. Use that moving forward. Yeah. And you got a couple more things on this list. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> you need to know what's that more. That was a good convo, You need to know what's more. We Maybe got a little you, deep for a minute. Um, so last episode, we brought up the whole Megan Thee Stallion Tory Lanez thing and we said, oh, I, yeah. I said that, um, you know, it was just it was just her stepping on glass or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's more to the story. So apparently Tory Lanez allegedly shot her in the foot a couple times as she was trying to leave the car. Her best friend was there with her. So Tory Lanez definitely shot her in the foot. Yeah. Um, she released a statement. You guys probably already have know, known by now. It happened like a week ago, guys. So whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking there was definitely very much drugs involved because he probably was drunk or high or something. Like, yeah, you, you, shot this girl. Like, you shot this girl in the foot? Like, what the hell? You pulled a gun out of her? Like, what the fuck is your problem? And um, it was that. And like, what confirmed it for me was all of her team and her, like, you know, because she's really cool with her team. Yeah. So like the hairstylist said some shit. The producer came out and said some shit. The bodyguard. The bodyguard. Everybody. They're all confirmed that Tory Lane shot this girl. So Tory Lane shot this girl. Yeah, like, so it's just I'm like... I'm just like, why? I don't... I'm trying to figure out why she was trying to get out the car. Why the fuck did you shoot her in her foot? She wanted to get out the car. They probably were having an argument. Because I think they were dating. That's the other thing, too, is that rumor is that they were probably oh, messing see, around. Oh, see, I didn't hear that rumor. They were probably messing around. That's even worse if y'all was dating. But he's... Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's... it's, 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 yeah, it's they, really they're probably short. in a domestic violence situation. He's really short. And she's really tall. Not putting that down. I just... That's weird. I'm so short that it's That's weird. why he probably shot her. <laughs> get her you down. Beat her ass. I don't. I, mean, I don't know. No, that's I not just, funny. But I'm, I'm just, short, y'all. I'm like five feet tall, so that's weird. It's always weird when a girl's tall and a boy's short. Yeah, yeah. So I um, mean, yeah. So like, the definitely the producer and the body car definitely confirmed it for me. Um, they were tweeting some shit at this nigga. Yeah, I saw what the body guard said, and I saw what the producer said, and I saw what the hair. And another thing too, uh, last time I spoke about um this thing, and I spoke about how her she's friendly or whatever. So. Um, the hairstylist, Jonathan, I guess he doesn't do her hair no more, but he did her hair at one point. Um, and he came out and said some shit too. He said, hold on, let me see. I bookmarked it right here. The neighborhood talk, the neighborhood talk, um, they posted it, said it. Um, so, so this is what, this is what, this is what the, the, uh, I am Jonathan. This is what he said on, um, Instagram. He said, Megan around too many fake motherfuckers, motherfuckers that just want to be around. Ain't no real shit. Motherfuckers not built like me at yeah. all. Motherfuckers, motherfuckers know what's really real and genuine, but, but I'm shaking my head. Right. So, um, I heard that. So I read that. I'm guessing, yeah. So I, I, I'm guessing the thing is like the bodyguard says something weird, like you know, if you know me, then you know why I wasn't there. But if you don't know me, just know that Megan is good, but she's not going to leave the house anymore without me being present. So I'm guessing people around her didn't leave really too much care for Tori. Maybe they thought that Tori was like a, a was clout chasey with Megan. I guess I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Um, but I mean that's weird because Tori because Tori is is um more isn't Tori more known than Megan or well, at least he's been out he's been longer. out longer I'll maybe say. he's not more known let me see how many how many followers do Tori Lane's you know what he's probably not as popping as he's probably not as, she's probably more popping than he is right now yeah he's probably not more oh he did oh, okay right here he's probably oh, I've been spelling Tori Lane's wrong this whole time I've been using the S I've been using it I'm using an E for Tori. Yeah, oh. Tori only has 10, 10 million followers, and Megan has like over twelve million. I think. Let me see. I just think yeah, she's yeah, more she popping. She, yeah, she's right more popping. She's more like mainstream um, than Tori, I believe. Yeah. Um. So maybe that's why. Because and then because Tori only got Tori followers boosted up after that damn quarantine radio, and the only reason that the only reason quarantine radio was popular is because bitches was uh, naked and shit. So literally. Um. So yeah. Um. Uh, Maybe that's what it was with the people that didn't people that didn't like didn't didn't like Tory Lanez that were around her and then it was weird because Tory Lanez Jonathan, like he crazy for real so yeah, huh he seemed like he a little crazy for real anyway oh yeah like so it, was, it was a clip that I saw the other day he um he pressed out Travis Scott a few years ago backstage and a girl he can, you can find plenty of videos of him like fighting in crowds and shit like that this I knew he was crazy was that with you short man shit. When I saw him at the film mode, was that with you? No, he wasn't with me, but nobody. He was climbing balconies and shit. That's crazy. He was climbing, like the, I, feel, I don't know what it's called, but the little tower things. He's climbing them, and he's shaking his head yeah. and doing all this shit. Like, he was about to fall off. Like, he's crazy. I was just yeah. look like, I don't want to say like a monkey, because like, he's black, but like, he looked like a monkey <laughs> climbing something. He did. Like, he really did. I was, I, I probably still had the video on my phone, because I, I remember that's when Snapchat was popping. I went to see ASAP Ferg, and then he was dead. He, he opened for ASAP Ferg, I think. But um, it, I was just like, this nigga climbing shit. 
And he was really shaking his head hard like this. That's when he was bald. He shaved yeah. his whole head. No, that's when he didn't, he didn't have good hair growth before this. Well, yeah, he was completely skinned Michael Jordan bald. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was just like, this nigga tripping. Yeah. He's a good um, performer, though. I don't know what he did to be so hyped, but you know. Yeah, so, and uh, uh, speaking of um, the hairstylist, and, um, the the former makeup artist, a killer face. He chimed in, and when Jonathan was talking about how making be around fake motherfuckers, a killer, a kill, yeah, oh <laughs> thunderstorms. You thought somebody was shooting? Um, nah. So he's the hairstylist, the killer face said something about Jonathan being being the fake one or whatever the fuck, and blah blah blah. So they went back and forth, and Jonathan mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, that's why she fired you because you fake and blah blah blah." Because remember that? Remember? I don't think I talked about this on the show, but remember when um. Megan got in tune with her makeup artist because she did some Vogue featurette where she said that she does her own makeup and then the makeup artist got mad and said that I do your makeup making, not just you. But I guess Megan does most of her makeup on her own. She does a lot of it. Yeah, on her own. Um, And so they got kind of back and forth. And then she was mad that he said something because she was like, you could have texted me this. Why are you putting this online for everybody to see type shit? I don't know. Um, Okay. Yeah, so they got they called him they called him a fake fake when it came to being true. But either way, like that, I mean, really I'm saying this, I'm saying this because like we talked about how Megan has industry friends and blah blah blah. Yeah. But yeah, just be careful who's. I mean, because a lot of times these industry friends, like I said, they just go around you to be fake. Be and, careful who you call your friend. Your friend, yeah, just yeah. But there's nothing wrong with being friendly. No, you yeah. can be friendly and not be friends. Yeah, yeah. It's a difference. Yes. So um, the Migos, they're they're suing their label, Quality Control, because right. they're saying that um, the one of the lawyers. It's you not know how you're supposed to have the art. The artist is supposed to have their own lawyer, um, separate from the the record label's lawyer. So I guess um, the lawyer that they had was like low key the record label's lawyer, and they were kind of cheating them out of millions or whatever. <laughs> but anyway, I don't know, whatever. But um, so the guy P uh, P Pierre, um, the one that is um the one that is a part of he's the the founder of quality control you know he posted the article i guess they're on i guess they're on bad terms um the migos haven't really spoken publicly about it because that's not their style well mostly um but you know qcp posted on instagram like a long like lengthy ass message basically saying like how could you do this like we were like we did this for you blah 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 everything could be in the go- whatever he just put he put all this shit out on instagram and he like wrote this long ass message on instagram he's very um open because okay. he has a lot of big mama drama and he's very open with his business i guess because like it's going to get reported anyway but i feel like he um he's very open with the business of okay. it all like posting like long ass instagram captions for everyone to That'd see be so annoying and, yeah it's just i don't know i That'd mean it's, you know, it's your life but it's just weird for you to just i feel like you just he, he just should have been it's silent a way to handle it. things yeah he just should've, he just should have been silent about it he <laughs> the shade room said the shade room uh, clocked him unfollowing Quavo and Offset, but not unfollowing Takeoff. But either way, that's just dumb to me. It's just like obviously they're arguing, so like why not? But it's either way. But it's like come on now, like you're unfollowing them, but they're still on, they're still on your label. So like what? Anywho, um, I guess I don't know. Just be careful with that. Listen, is this all brings me back to Chance not signing no damn deals with nobody? And I get it. I get it, bruh. I get it. But the thing is, like with artists, is different situations. You you may need that label backing. Sometimes some people don't have the means to yeah. to find all of that. Mm-hmm. Like it, it's different situations. It depends on the person. Yeah, chance is just he did what he had to do. I guess. I, I mean, if I was an artist, I'd rather be. I would rather be indie, but everybody's not able to do that all the time. Yeah, so I get it. But yeah, I just thought it was weird for him to like post that long ass caption on Instagram for all of us to see. Like I just feel like he just tells us. I feel like he gets up. He's one. He one, he's one of the ones that gets upset that people are in his business, but. Tell us your but business. You put it all out there for me to see. So yeah, that that's that. I'm not really too get get into that too much because I really don't um know too much. But I just wanted to say that. Um, but I also think it's weird because isn't Quavo has his own record label? But isn't it? I think it isn't it under QC. Is it not? I didn't know he had his own. He just started it. Yeah. Okay, that's why yeah, I didn't so, know. I don't know. I just um. I just think it's weird because it's just like okay, hopefully you know Quavo's doing the right thing when it comes to his artists and not cheating his yeah. artists or whatever. I hope so. But yeah, they they suing that the Migos are suing the label quality control because they're saying that they missed out on millions. They they've been cheated out on millions type shit. So maybe they just noticed it. I don't know. But hopefully, um, everything works out because no one wants to be cheated out. Especially if you're the talent, you're the one that makes the money for. You know, it's different when you're the CEO and the artist because I feel like the CEO should always make more money than the artist. But if you're being if you're being cheated out of the things, you know, you know what I mean. Like it's just like the artist keeps the CEO afloat. If that exactly, makes sense. like. They're making you your money. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, I wish all I wish all the best. Um, and uh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. 
prayers up, prayers up for Tamar Braxton. Yes. She is reported that she commit she she made a suicide attempt, and then also prayers up for Nick Cannon. He made some very um concerning tweets about living, and you know he's very going disturbing. through a rough time right now with with everything that's going on with him, and 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 um you know him losing out on the Viacom deals that he had, and hopefully he gets the own while and out. Hopefully that works out because you I guess, say you won't I guess, fight for that. Yeah, because he doesn't own it. I thought that he I always thought that he owned it. I did too. I did too. Uh, listen, I really do hope he get out of that back because, like, that's the like if he don't get because if he didn't own it, then they could have they could have replaced him at any moment. Then basically, yeah. But I mean, uh, he was doing good on there, so yeah. They had but I just feel like it just I feel like he shouldn't just uh, yeah. Because even if they try to replace him, it's not gonna be the same. Yeah, of course not. Like. And then I saw some fake little fly. It was like Ryan Seacrest. Oh yeah, it was like yeah. It was and the boy A Pop had like um made a video comment on. Damn, it. I just I just feel like who? A Pop. Who's that? Oh him, oh yeah, the nigga from uh, DMV. But yeah, I just um, I'm surprised he didn't own Wildin' Out. I, I yeah, I really thought he did. I thought that was elite. I thought that was his. Yeah, I just thought it was. I mean, it does say Nick Cannon presents Wildin' Out, but I feel yeah. like I thought that he I thought that he owned the shit. I mean, yeah, I know it's, I know it's on a I know it's a Viacom net it's under a Viacom network, but I at least I just thought, thought he thought he's been he doing owned, business with them all these years. He, he owned just... Wildin' Out. Or own the name, or own something. It was some, some was I in that contract let, that he I hope they let. I hope they let Nick have Wild out because they don't. That's some. That's some hateful shit. That's some. It is some bullshit. It's the least. Because you do. already cut off the mass singer. You already, you already cut off all these things that he had. But I heard that he's still able to host one of the shows. It's not the mass singer. I don't think. Oh, but I know that. I, I know that it said something about um him still being able to being able to host because he, he he did come back and apologize though i know because he because he, he realized what he said was everybody stopped calling him like a sell a sellout but that's like, he, that's people that don't know that's an adult about. realizing he's wrong because because he, he, he offended a, a, another community yeah. but people like that they just let them say what they want to say because they, they don't know they don't know shit but yeah that's, so, that's uh, what fucking hurt him best wishes for nick cannon honestly i don't want to see like a black man lose that because he really no. made he really made and built up while now and nick cannon gave so many people opportunities like he needs to like they need to give that that's a lot of people out of jobs yeah they stuff, really like, like, they, need to, they, need to, they need to let that shit trickles down on a lot of other people like that's yeah. not fair that's not right they, let need, him they need to let him have that shit that, that's his shit because at this point he could do while now himself yeah he can just put on another network people yeah. watch that shit Diddy was like, "Diddy started coming on, yeah." yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if Diddy said, "Come on over, baby," all you gotta do is get the, get the title back. Yeah, um, and that brings me to when you said, "Um, people out of work." That's Tyler Perry. Yeah, sure, we can get a whole a whole damn studio. Go right on the go right to Atlanta and do that shit there. That's what I'm saying. They 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 they, they um, it's, the show is actually based in Atlanta anyway. It, they, it's based in different different cities, different seasons. Well, the last couple seasons they've been in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I'll say. See, so yeah, but, do your thing. Like go, yeah, mm-hmm, absolutely, absolutely. I really hope he gets that. But and like I'm like I said last episode, I literally when the see when the new when the seasons come on come back on every week. I watch Wild Out every single week. I might not watch it on time every time, but I watch Wild Out. Yeah, I watch their YouTube channel. Yeah, I watch their YouTube channel too. I follow all the people on the show mm-hmm. that I like. Like, I love Wild and Out. I've been watching Wild and Out forever. I just I've been to Wild and Out like twice. You been there? Yeah, whenever they came here. I, In the I, audience? Yeah. Oh, talking about the live show or the talking about the, the the tour? Yeah. Or the actual taping? No, just the tour. The tour. Okay. Um, but yeah, I've been twice and I didn't seen like comedy shows with them, some of them separately and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to go to one of the, well, shit, nah, I can't. I went but, to 85 South, like I love these niggas. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell you. Yeah, anywho, um, but that brings me to my last, uh, mention. It's a little petty, but I just wanted to say this. What? <laughs> Guys, you know, I've noticed a lot of these celebrities making OnlyFans accounts, and that really shows. That should show you guys. Open your eyes. These celebrities are just like us. Like that should really hum- that and that this them being on OnlyFans that really should like humble, um, you know, show that I feel like I feel like I feel like a lot of celebrities are humble right now. Very much. A lot so. of them are really humble right now because a lot of them make money off. A lot of them really make most of their money off of touring and 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 club club appearances honestly and this is it's really not a lot of that going on right now yeah. so it's like you gotta do what you gotta do yeah because they live some expensive lifestyles only fans um it's a lot of well they're not really uh, they're not really good examples but you know what i'm saying like there's a like, you know <laughs> like there's a you know what i'm saying like a lot of these instagram girls like black china she got an only fans and you know what i'm saying all these girls have only fans now and and it's just like it's really, Actually, it's really humbling one. it's really humbling to see these people that we glorify to be these rich motherfuckers that they they have the thing is like you think they want to have only fans no no they're doing what they have to do no 
No, because they paying to live in these big ass houses and have multiple cars, and that shit is not cheap, and it got to be paid for somehow. So they're doing what they have to do. Yeah, just like us everyday people. Some of us need a second job sometimes. It's just really, it's just really, yeah, it's just yeah, exactly. It's like really it's just the same thing. It's really eye opening for me. Like damn, like you having this OnlyFans is really showing me that you know times are hard. Type yeah, shit. you know what I'm saying. It is. Yeah, so do they your are. thing. Um, mm, this looks good. Do your thing. Oh, sorry. I skipped this real quick. One more thing about the Nikki pregnancy. Meek Mill is not over her, and he he, he needs to stop. He has a whole baby. He has a whole girlfriend. Yes. Because it was a um. What did I see? Hold on. Because I'm like, you are really disgusting. If I was if I was in the Milano was trending on Twitter the other day too. I'm like, this girl needs to leave you because you are clearly not over your ex girlfriend. At all. You are clearly not. You are clearly not over your. She and sis has moved on. It's just, it's just to... disgusting. So if someone tweeted. Someone um. Posted on Instagram, they said, y'all got one more time to share that Nikki pregnancy picture on your story or, or timeline, and, and you getting blocked. She don't know you, and she didn't post you when I you were pregnant. That. I'm like, yes, yeah, first of all, that's very weird. For I kept one, scrolling. Nikki Minaj is a celebrity. Two, what if I just like the fucking photograph? And want to and want to report. They were they were good and wanna, pictures. And want to click the wanna, and want to click the damn the damn button to repost my fucking story. Like what? It's like what the fuck? And then that and then like she you don't even know her. She put in her caption. She said, "Thanks for all the well wishes." Like she, she has fans. Like we're a part of her fandom. And she like, has some diehard fans. And so like, what, what the what fuck? Mean? Yeah, we don't know her personally, but what the fuck? Like, and, and yeah, she don't, she don't know what's personal. So why would she? Why would she hit me up about my pregnancy? Like, what the fuck? She what doesn't the, know me. Famous so, or not, she doesn't know me. So then, Meek Mill put like crying, laughing emojis underneath the underneath the cat underneath the um caption. I'm just like, Frank, like nigga, why are you? You just sit down somewhere. He's weird for that. Yes, because what the over, fuck is baby. funny? Like, it's stop. over, baby. Maybe did you think you think Milano uh, left him? Let me look on her page. She, she needs on. to, cause like she he's clearly not over her. If you're not over your ex, then what are we doing? What are we even doing? It's just weird. Like this is like the the fifth time he has like sub tweeted some shit or, or like some petty shit or, or it's been some years and you're still not over her. Like okay, it's just weird. Like it's, it's, it's like weird that we find that we find you like. Saying things re- in reference to her, I don't know, man. I it's don't know. It's, it's just, it's weird. just strange. And I feel like if if I was if I was, and the, but the thing is, like, I what is he getting out of comment and You know, I'm not with them in the bedroom. I'm not with um, Meek Mill and Milano in the bedroom. But I'm just saying, from the outside looking in, I just feel like, damn, it looks like, crazy. It looks crazy, and it looks like he's not over her. Like it's always it's always some shit with him and, and with him commenting on some shit about Nicki Minaj. And that would be an issue for me. Like, why are you so worried about her? Y'all not together. Y'all don't got kids together. Y'all have no ties. They own the house together at one point. I'm just assuming that that's dealt with by this point because it's been a couple years. Like y'all, what? I say they have no ties. They don't got no kids together. They own the house together. But I'm sure that's they own the house together. Yeah, they have bought a house together. Like oh, wow. right before, how long before they broke up? I guess the last time things were good with them. And then, but I'm saying I'm sure that's all taken care of at this point. It's been a couple years now. Like, let her go. Let her live. She's married. She's happy. And she's about to pop a baby out. And she has her own dramas in her, in her relationship. So, like, why even... She's not thinking about you. It's weird. It's just strange. Anywho, um, that's what I wanted to say about that. And uh, that's it for my... With my um pop culture and celebrity news. That's it for that. What about the music? The music? Okay, so um, I'm going to check out Flo Millie. I've heard it for a few I times. I just heard that name today. Yeah, I've heard it for a few times. And I actually um listened to a couple of her songs on Spotify today. I like her a lot. Um, I love that she's a nice chocolate girl. And I love her flow. I love her little voice. And I love I love everything chocolate. about her. I really like her music. She's I think she's really popping. I like her stuff. And uh, she has a mixtape dropping this this Friday. I'm definitely going to check it out. Called Ho, Why Is You Here? I think it's a mixtape. Maybe it's just a song. But she has a project dropping. She has new music dropping this Friday, July 24th. So, yeah. I'll be I'm excited for that. Yes, yes, Damn, yes. Damn, that's... Our grandma's birthday on Thursday. My sister's birthday next Monday. Yeah. Anywho, um, Tanache dropped a new song called Rascal. A new song and video. The video is beautiful. I love the song. I love Tanache. I love how she's striving through her independence. I'll give it a listen. I'm not... Yeah. I don't know her music too well. Mm-hmm. But the songs I have heard, I do like. Yeah. But it's always the things I've heard. I, I never really like 
searched her, listened to her. It's always just like if it's on the radio, I just yeah. hear it. But I always like it. Yeah, I'm really proud of her. Um, what she's doing right now since she's been independent. I'm really proud of the product that she's been. I'm really proud of what she's been producing mm-hmm. and putting out there. Um, I think she is um with the Rock Nation when it comes to the management side of everything. But that's what I think. I'm not really sure on that. But yeah, I'm really proud of what she's been doing as an independent artist. That's that. And then, um, did you hear Pop Smoke's new album yet? Yeah, I like it a lot. I like it a lot too. Yeah, I just wanted to mention that. The whole thing. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and then so I, the I love Diana. Yeah. That's my shit. And um, yeah, so then um, one last thing. August Alcina released a song called Entanglements featuring Rick Ross. I, know, I was going to mention that. And it's, it's low key a bop. I ain't going to hold it. I like it actually. I like I, it too, yeah. I, li- I, I love on it. August's voice. I love his voice. I love his tone. I only clicked on it to be funny just to see what it sounded like. Yeah. But then I was like, oh, this thing is actually fire. Yeah, it's the shit, yeah. Fire. So, yeah. yeah, I like it. It's, it's definitely saved in my... Same through the pain, I guess. It's definitely saved in my library. Yeah. Um, That's all your music? Yeah. So, like I guess I was going to mention that. Um, Chinana Iko, she dropped her Chilombo Deluxe. Oh, album. yeah. I haven't heard all of it yet, but I heard the try, Trying to Smoke remix with Chris Brown. I love that song. Yeah, I like the original already. So, then you add Chris yeah. Brown to the remix. I'm yeah, like, yes, baby. Dog. You gave me what I needed. Yeah. Um. Wait. What day is that? Versus battle with Snoop Dogg and all. Um, oh, I don't know. I haven't heard it too much about that after, yeah. after they talked about it. Yeah. I just thought about it. Like, did I miss something? Let me see. I need to be there. Oh, definitely. Oh, much for sure. DMX Snoop Dogg f- tomorrow night at five. Damn, that's early as shit. What five? Oh, no, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Tomorrow night at eight. Uh, okay. Cool. Eight all Eastern right. Standard, but five in California. <laughs> but yeah. Well, thank God I don't live in California. Yep, you did. Um. Anywho. Um, Ooh, I don't know if you saw on the internet everybody was talking about Leanne La Havis, her album, you her self-titled what? new album, the um, girl Leanne La Havis. I've seen her on my timeline, so what's up with her? What I love that? her. Like she, Who is that? It's a song she had, I heard, yeah, I heard it, I don't know why I always hear songs I like, like 4 in the morning with MTV Unplugged on, but um, what, I forgot what the song's called at this point, um. Uh, but anyway, she has she's just a very vibey, soulful artist. She gives me like honest story of music, it makes me feel like I'm fucking floating. Really? Yeah. Like I her. love her voice. She has like this raspy, pretty ass voice. Um I was just a big fan. And I didn't even know that she was dropping something. So when I saw that, the whole when I tell you I say every fucking song. Every fucking song. This is one called Can't Fight. How many songs is it? Um, I can tell you right now because I was looking it up. It is 12. Mm. 12, yep. And her single, Bittersweet, I have put on the last, the the women playlist we put out. I have put her song, Bittersweet, on there. And on here, she put the full, I guess that wasn't the full version of it, since she put the full version on um this album. So I was happy for that. What was that song that I first heard about her? I'm trying to find it. It was on this album. Lost and Found. Mm. And it was just about, basically the lyrics where you broke me, you broke me and taught me how to truly hate myself. It was like this very deep, dark, depressing ass song. But I felt that shit though. What's her name again? Leanne. That's how you spell it. Leanne Le Havis. Le Havis. Okay, I'm going to check her out. This is not the new album though. That's the old album. Mm -hmm. Her new one is self-titled. Um, it's bomb. And if you look at the end that when it, the day came out, everybody was like obsessed. Anyway, um, next, um, Joey Badass dropped a little quick EP he called it the Light Pack. Probably because it's only oh, three I songs. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Only three songs, but they're all good songs. I just want more than three. Yeah. I was so glad he came out with something. I think artists should songs. be putting out taste testers. Just to get, just to warm us up for some other shit, or just guess. to test the waters. I just need more. I really, it, all these songs are fire, bomb. Like, I was in the shower. I listened to it in the shower for the first time, and I was just like, I had to turn that shit up. It's really good. All three songs. So listen to that. Um, I think that's all my music. Yeah, that's all my music. Okay. That's well, all we have for today. Yeah. Yeah. Kanye's dropping something this Friday. Um, I'll listen to it. Oh, yeah. They was talking. They, when he posted his uh the track list and deleted it, they was like, somebody had screenshot it. And they reposted it and was like, I think he took it down because he spelled the word hurricane wrong. Yeah. And he did. He put, it was like C-A-I-N-E. I was like, this nigga. Wow. 
Yeah, the way when he was when he was tweeting too, when his tweets were like spaced out real weird and it was weird. I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. And then um I don't know if I said this on the show before, but it was a rumor about Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion having a song coming out. Um can't wait for that. So, yeah. I think that I think that really oh, shake yeah, the I'm table. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to listen to the um I think that really shake the table for sure. Definitely listen to Kanye's music. Um, like you said, that's where his expertise is. Mm-hmm. So I'm always going to still listen. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just hope he sorts out whatever he's going through. Mm-hmm. And yeah. So yeah. all I can do is hope for the best because I don't know him personally. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah. Anywho, all right. Well, that's all for that's all that's all for me. That's all, folks. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right, guys. Well, thank you guys for listening to. Heard the podcast. This is Danny. You can find me at Danny DeVito. That's D A N I D E V I T O underscore underscore on Instagram. Danny DeVito with one underscore on Twitter. And you can follow me at Katie Heron, C A D Y H A R I N, um, on all platforms. Yes, and follow Heard the podcast on all social media platforms. Make sure you guys subscribe to our YouTube channel, H E R apostrophe D, the podcast. And click that notification bell. And click that. No, and like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Anywho, thank you guys for listening to Heard the Podcast. We out. Bye. See you next week.